Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. One in five Floridians has something of value that's gone unclaimed. It's now in the state's hands. There's seven million accounts totaling just shy of two billion dollars. The items could be an uncashed paycheck, a lost utility deposit, or jewelry left in a forgotten safety deposit box. We found a rather large diamond ring that an individual didn't want to claim because it reminded her of a previous relationship that she didn't want to think of. After property sits unclaimed in a bank account for up to five years, it's forwarded to the state and deposited in the state school fund, but it's always yours for the claiming. You can find out if you left something unclaimed by going to the Great Florida Treasure Hunt website. Fill out some documents, send us all that information in the mail, and we'll send you a check. It's simple as that. Between 2016 and 2017, the state returned $313 million, the most in the program's 56-year history, back to Floridians. After an item shows up here at the Division of Unclaimed Property, it's held in this vault. <laughs> for two years before being put up for auction. But don't worry, even if grandma's jeweled watch has already been auctioned off, you're still entitled to the cash from the sale. We put 100% of that sale value right back into an account in that owner's name. So if the owner ever does come forward, we'll give them every penny that we received at auction. So they're still not losing out. It's available to them for free anytime. This year, two auctions will be held. The first is at the end of July, which means you only have a few weeks to find out if the state is holding something of yours that could soon be sold. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.